everybody. This is Valerie from Sea Cottage Soaps. I haven't posted a video or made soap in um, quite a long time, but um, I need to get going on my pumpkin soap. This is a seasonal soap. Um, it'll have these cute little pumpkins from Melt and Pour. And I'm doing, I already poured my lye in here. I'm doing a, um, a swirl of the combination of orange, let's see, orange yellow and clementine mica, and also um, apple green. The I'm also going to have a very small amount of wisteria purple, cocoa brown, and the jungle green I'm going to be using see that yeah I'm gonna be using that for the leaves and the vine so being that I haven't done this in a while and made soap in a long time I'm feeling a little confused but hopefully it'll just come right back to me once you take a too long of a break it's it, it's an issue at least for me it is anyway it can be a little bit of an issue I don't want to do too much of the um, mixing. This is some Greek yogurt. The Greek yogurt, um, buttermilk, powder, clay, oatmeal. I think there's something else and I don't remember what it was. Oh, pumpkin seed oil, cocoa butter. I don't want to um, pour the fragrance oil. I'm going to separate first because it just um, let me do this one. it discolors to a tan, and I don't want my colors to be getting dark. Just a little bit more for these two. And I just want a little bit of the cocoa brown. little bit of the glow purple my power took a little bit of a dip we're getting getting some interesting weather here in Florida and I'll mix in my fragrance oil this I'm using nature's garden pumpkin apple butter on that it's really really good it behaves uh, just to, as you can see it turns a little bit a little bit tan but that's okay oh you know what I didn't separate out from my um, my piping darn it I forgot so the five colors <laughs> This one's going to be a little bit darker than I wanted. Hmm. Wondering what I should do now. Because this is already a jungle green. It's already a darker. Oh, well. I'll just add TD to it. and I don't need much, that's for sure. Okay. Get this mixed up. slab mold 
mold and then I decided to use my regular mold. So I hope I have enough soap. It doesn't look like enough. <laughs> going to be interesting, but that's okay. Good thing this behaves pretty well. That definitely is not going to work for me. It's probably not enough soap for my stick blend. There we go. That's good. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Alrighty. Let's get this cleaned up a little bit. Put that away before I pour it in my main batch. That's what I, that's what I don't want. in. Actually, I have those little sticks and I forgot to get them out. Darn it. This is a very dark color, but I'm not getting it in the, um, in the cup. able to use this one. I should have pre-mixed it. That's what happens when you're back at it and there, there it is. <laughs> it's getting there. There we go. Purple. There it is. Look how pretty that is. Okay. Let's see if I can get this going. I wanted that just a little bit darker, but I think it's just gonna come along. Better if it's stick blended. is doing this because of my ingredients. <laughs> That's not what I wanted. Oh my word. That is not what I wanted. That's all right. I'm not going to put TD in it. I'm just going to go with it. It'll mellow out. I 
actually I'm going to save the rest and I am going to put TD in it and um, so be pretty to pipe. It has been thundering all day. Now my purple. Gosh, I can't get over how pretty that is. Yeah, this recipe is not, gosh, that looks like a tiger with purple, purple in it. <laughs> So I wasn't sure what I wanted to do before. I'm just going to transfer this to a smaller bowl. All right. Um, I will bring you guys back when I pipe the top. Thanks for joining me. Okay, I'm back. I had to um, put the, um, the rest of the batter in the refrigerator and go have a snack and clean up because it just wasn't setting up for piping. So what I did is that I chilled it and I spooned it on. And um, if I had some mica oil drizzle I would have done that I can always add that later I suppose I can add that but um, at this time I'm going to I put my pumpkins on and I'm going to pipe the leaves hopefully you can see it's just been so I don't know the Sun comes out and then it gets grumbly and dark and then my power starts going out but it hasn't rained yet so very very strange but normal for us okay I'm gonna pipe the leaves the right tip for this yeah I'm gonna go on this side and first I don't know if you can see this all right you can't sorry about that it's starting to heat up a little bit either way it's gonna be cute and I'll show you I'll take the uh, my phone down and I'll show you and then when I turn this around you can see it better See that? And then I'm gonna, I have a coupler on here and then I'm gonna change this out and then just do some binds real quick. But I have to hurry because I would like to have dinner done in a couple of hours when my husband gets home from work. I don't like, um, he doesn't mind, he's awfully good, but I do like to have something <laughs> for him. After he's worked all day. I'm just trying to use this up. I knew I was going to, I always make too much green, but that's okay. Feeling I might have to put this in the refrigerator. Why is that? Oh no, I did two of those like that. The direction. 
no to self. Don't do a complicated or detailed plan soap after not making soap for <laughs> months. Okay, now I'm going to change this out and do some vines. And whatever I have left over, I'll just pipe some extra leaves. Hopefully this is on right. I think this is on right. We're going to find out when it ends up in my soap. So let me just... Little curly cues up to the stem. Can you see that? It's, it does not a big deal on how it lands or anything. It's, it's supposed to be nature and... It's actually, you know, not supposed to be too planned. And then I'll do some up, oops, down the side a little bit. Just kind of let it go where it wants to go. A little bit too much green. It's going to be cute, though. I love making these pumpkin patch soaps. My power almost went out when I had my camera off. It does that brown type of brown out, I suppose it's called. Okay, I think that's gonna be it for now. I don't like too much green, kind of takes away. I'll just push that down a little bit. It's gonna get pushed down anyway. Get these glittered. just a little bit more on the sides um, just to use it up it's probably enough glitter and then I have this pretty orange I forget what it's called something tangerine I believe it's really pretty okay so I'll just finish up you know with this um, pretty green it's the perfect shade I wanted something dark and ivy forest and this is it. My pumpkin patch soap. So I'll bring you guys back when I cut my soap. Um, I'm assuming tomorrow. All right. Have a great night. God bless. Hi, I'm back to cut my soap. Um, I it heated up a lot in um, the center, of course. And my pumpkins in here started to fall in. Um... But so I'm, I had to throw it in the freezer. Um, so I'm expecting a, a partial gel somewhere in there. And I did take one, I did cut the ends because I couldn't wait. And so let's just see what's going on inside. I was able to unmold it last night though. This is gonna be I didn't really space these pumpkins too well. There's a little bit of the paint. There's one. Cute. This kind of soap obviously um, some are going to be a bit larger than others. I'm glad I did the purple. It's a pretty cool touch. There's the gel.
Yep, my pumpkin started falling in, so I had to try to brace them with uh, some chopsticks that I had. I kind of rigged it. Well, actually, I threw it in the refrigerator first and then the freezer. Um, I rigged it so they would, you know, I propped them back up and kept tried to keep them spaced. And oh my goodness, I thought for sure it was going to not turn out too well. It's a spicy fragrance, so I should have known. But I didn't remember that happening last year, so. See, there it is. It's not too bad, though. Not too bad. I did a bit of a hanger swirl real quick. This is pretty right there. Okay, one more cut. Oops. Oh, I got that upside backwards. Yeah, that's about even. There's the last one. Turned out really cute. Okay, guys. Well, thanks for joining me and have a great weekend and God bless.